Masters lineout, and this is the closest I think they've been to the Glasgow line in the entire game, and we have played nearly 68 minutes. Well, this is going to be interesting. Uh, looks like uh, Paddy McAllister is uh, is going to be the one to affect. You'd expect it just to be a, a straight ball to two, and Glasgow have got their wits. They'll jack someone there, which they didn't do. Not a bad job by McAllister, taken by Muller. Ron comes Barker, Willie Falloon wearing 20 is in there, here go Ulster from close range. The Glasgow line is in their sights, again the pick up and drive by Ulster. And they're getting closer all the time, they really do need a try here, great Glasgow defence and they've held Ulster off the ground. Good work by uh, Johnny Beatty, the replacement who conceded the penalty in the first place. Remember Ulster down to seven forwards, Rory Best in the bin. Advantage straight to ground. Penalty against Glasgow for going straight to ground. And surely, well, Ulster take it quickly. Pinar goes for the line as he squeezed over. The Ulster fans think he has. They may well have to go upstairs to Ian Ramage. Time off. And judging by the reaction of Johan Muller and certainly what it looked like, he got across the line. The referee on the wrong side to adjudicate on it. Not sure if his assistant referee had seen it, but we'll go upstairs and judging by Ulster's reaction, that'll be a try. Well, when the two sides met earlier in the season, all Ulster's points, all 17 of them, came, or all 19 of them came from this man, Pinar, and that looks like a pretty good try from here. Just got it. Has he got it on the whitewash? Ooh, it's very close. It's very close. Did it come back in field? Yeah, that's touched the whitewash just, I think. Yeah, it looked like the initial grounding is probably the best chance for this to be awarded, but uh, you'd like to see the longer it takes, the less likely it is to be given. It's whether that ground had initially just got a little bit of that whitewash when he first reached out. Well, he was uh, tackled now at six foot two or so. He's one of the biggest or tallest scrum halves in the world, big long arms, and it's all about that whitewash. And that's touched the whitewash. That has to be given us a try. And Pinar's in position to take the conversion. Still waiting. Still waiting. Thank you, Ian. Decision coming from Ian Ramage. Not soon enough for Ulster. The clock uh, has stopped at this stage. There's another look at it from the same angle. And if it touches that white line at all, which it does just and no more, that must be a try. Well, the referee has uh, told the Glasgow captain that they're still looking. If it's no try, it's going to be a penalty to Ulster. But Ulster will take the try, I'm pretty sure. And if it's not awarded as a try, I'll still be tempted to either kick to touch or take a scrum, yeah, but no problem. No, they'll be desperately hoping it's this is awarded. Well, the referee is still muttering to himself. Well, come on, Ian Ramage, make your, make your mind up. It's either a try or it's not. I mean, if he touched the whitewash with any part of the ball, it has to be given as a try. Yes. Just confirm I can award the try. The try has been given. Ulster have got their first try of the Eight evening. Blue. Eight. Eight. And the referee's going to have a word with uh, Richie Vernon. You will impede him. Kill the ball. And Richie Vernon has been sent to the bin for killing the ball, which is what the penalty was given for anyway. So it's uh, Glasgow 16 and Ulster 14. Conversion to come. Well, there's the consistency you were looking for from the referee. Uh, professional foul five metres out from the try line and duly shown the yellow card. Well, just over ten minutes remaining. This to bring Ulster back to level terms. And he has nailed that one. So it's...